Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like... well... you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... Uh, you won't understand unless you meet her. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Olenko, wasn't it? He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh! Shh! Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know! That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Ever think we'd be working? I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? There's not much to say. The past is the past. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. 
Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. There must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, Confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. Well, something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think, weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. 
When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Back for more. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I knew this girl once, Asari, good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works... You're tough, fine. but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Manara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got him first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we
we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. Figured. People always want something. Well, what? Right now, then? All right, Jack. I like how you move. I bet you do. Come here. Hey, Shepard. You might want to dial down Jack's biotic implants before you hook up with her again. I doubt Cerberus could afford to build another Normandy. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown of the situation? The Heretics have prepared a weapon that will rewrite all Gath to join the old machines. The Reapers. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station. Uh, we will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary. This could be our best we chance. We will begin man. preparations. had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard, Need me for something? Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. 
We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. for you, Commander. 